Okay, so okay, so next question is from Emery Apathy. I like this question. Why is my money not growing quick enough? <laughs> That's Legend. such a good question. Legend. Um, bit of baby bio. So I'm guessing what what Emery Apathy is asking here is why why is why is the money not performing? Why are my investments not performing? I mean, it's quite vague. I don't know where the money is. Yeah, that would be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> so I think Emery's question really is one of distribution of returns. And what I mean by that is Emery's probably expecting to make a certain amount within a year and then not making that amount within a year. I did an analysis on um, the stock market and the S&P 500 over like 40 years. The average rate of return is 10%, but only one year had a 10% return. All the rest were like plus 20, minus 15. It's more common to have a plus 20 return than it is to have the average return of 10. So I think maybe to you, Emery, I would say, go study the returns on whatever asset class you're investing in and get used to the fact that this isn't a smooth ride up. You know, why my money not grow faster is a question we all ask ourselves, I think. <laughs> why not rich yet? Why yeah, not rich when, yet? When rich, when Lambo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's all I would say is, it, it sounds like maybe there there's a disconnect between the expected return and, and what that will actually translate to on a year to year basis. So, I mean, I, what I would say to Emery from my professional and personal experience is that you can go chasing aggressive returns and like quick, quick wins, but you're obviously going to increase your risk atrociously. Like your risk appetite has to be high for that because I've done that before. I've put, put eight grand in something that my friend said was going to the moon and I have zero pounds left of that eight grand. So you can win big overnight, but you've got to realize you're going to have a lot of risk, just like anything. Like you see all these ads on online. They're like, oh, make a hundred pounds an hour from home, sitting at home. Like the chance of you getting scammed in those ads are probably pretty high. I, I wouldn't personally trust anyone saying you can make like two grand a day sitting at home in a random advert or the people that message you on LinkedIn and they're like, oh, would you like to join my trading course? All my people are making five grand a day. You will probably lose your money like immediately. So you can get the more aggressive returns. For example, look at crypto. But you, again, a lot of people lose, most people lose money in crypto. Like to be honest, the majority of people have lost money. So yeah, more it's risk, risk, more reward. It's risk, risk, reward. It's risk, it? reward. Yeah, and the, the, the quicker and higher you want the reward, the more risk you're going to take. And it gets to a point where it's like, if it's going to make you rich overnight with no effort, then it's gambling, isn't it? Yeah. And, and You what, might as well yeah, bet on a football value match. Value in or... life doesn't come for free. Yeah. It's like people could work all day, eight hours a day and earn a couple of grand a month, but then they expect to make two grand a day passively through, <laughs> through some weird course. It's like, you know, it yeah. doesn't translate that, that value. Exactly. So it's just like going to a casino. You put it all on a 32 black. If you hit it, you're going to be you could loaded, yeah, but yeah. the chances of you hitting it are one in whatever, yeah. how many, 32 or whatever. Yeah. So you've got to, you've got to really like have a risk appetite and know what you're getting into. Yeah, stay safe, Emery. Sounds like you're, you're about to take some wild <laughs> so, risks. Sounds like, like me a couple of years ago. Take, <laughs> take it easy, buddy. Don't, don't go too wild. <laughs>